Hello there and welcome to this new vlog. I've released an older video, not a video, a recording on YouTube from an organ recording, part of my examination in Amsterdam 1997, Vienna's Sixth Symphony and the reason why I did so is written in the description box below so you can check it out. Anyway, in 1997 I was not thinking on making afterthoughts videos, actually not thinking on making videos at all. And so, since I don't have an afterthought video for you, I was thinking, well, it might be the perfect moment to share some footage with you on the organ that you see behind me. Many of you have asked me to do so, so let's do that. So I take you to that instrument with me. Just a moment, if you see so many books here and there, and there is a kind of a mess everywhere, it's totally up to me because I am uh, redesigning, so to say, restructuring my library. I've, I had way too many books and I um, have to get rid of them, some of them, because I need some place. And so here is Anya working at her desk. I hope she's working and not playing computer games, but I think she's working. Yes, definitely. Okay, there we go. As you might remember, the clavichord was placed just before the instrument for the organ and we have repositioned it. And the reason for that is that we are starting not next week but next month with uh, the recording of all partitas, all six partitas of Bach. And for that we need a fixed position for the clavichord since all the six partitas will be recorded in the course of several months. We will do one or two parts every day per partita. And you see here, kind of silly protection for the microphones. So it was positioned just underneath the keyboard of the organ, uh, which was a perfect position for me to play, but it sounds better at this position since there, is there are no reflections from the wall or corners. And we have more possibilities there to make video productions because the YouTube videos will continue. So I have to be very careful now because the camera is positioned tonight to be the 2nd of March, no, the 1st of March. We, I'm going to record the fourth partita for YouTube. So this camera actually took us one hour to position. So if I touch something, Anya will be very angry. Okay, so here, the name of the organ builder is James Conacher, and Conacher was an English organ build builder, Great Britain. He lived in Huddersfield, near Liverpool, if I remember well. And actually this instrument was built in Huddersfield. So it has two keyboards. Normally, as most of you will know, there should be a pedal keyboard here underneath. Um, that's not a way, it's just in the garage and an organ bench as well. So uh, the reason that it's not here is because we made a new floor here and you can see just where the oak floor ends and just goes over in the organ room. And I'm not playing the organ anymore at the moment. I miss it, but I have so much to do with the clavichord. And so this organ hasn't been played, I think for a few years now. We'll try later see the keys are dirty even have to clean it it's a beautiful instrument that has on the great organ for those of you who are organists an open diapason which is in uh, open principal h then a dulciana which is yeah, a kind of uh, string stop then a clarabelle which not it's not a real flute stop it's really a very narrow flute stop and then a stopped flute four so that are the stops of the great organ, which is the lower manual. Then you have the Boudon 16 on the pedal. So um, 30, yes, it has 30 notes on the pedal, 30 keys. Boudon 16, which is great. It adds really heavy uh, gravity to the organ. Then you have these, the normal couplers. And you have also on the second manual an open diapason, which is stopped in the bass. So, but for trio playing, it's really great. It's full mechanical action, so I have practiced uh, I have practiced a lot of Bach on this instrument, which is great. Then you have a Gemsorn four foot, which actually is a principal four. And then you have a Salaginal, which is very, very soft, but very beautiful, really. And the Cornopean is what the French would call a, a, 
um, an obwa. So it is full mechanical open. I will open this. I will see the action uh, that's behind. So I will just put this, and you see here also the pedal action. It's disconnected. That uh, those uh, wooden elements are for the pedal keyboard. So and behind that you see the bellows. It's all in perfect condition actually. We have done a lot of restoration on the organ. So if you play on the, let's see where you are here. Here is. You see things moving. Very funny actually. Okay. Um, it it was built in a kind of NIS, a kind of I hope that's correct English. And actually when probably when it was finished late 19th century, it must have been 1895 or something like that. Um, it was quite impossible to tune to main, to do maintenance on the organ and the boot on 16 of the pedal was really untouched for 100 years. So I take you here to the back. So that's the front of the organ. And obviously it's built in between these two walls. In fact, we have uh, designed the house here around the organ. It's made for the organ. So if we go this way, you see the student mixing console and there the uh, preamplifier is all set up for tonight. The Studer A80 will not be used tonight, but will be used intensively the coming days, the coming months, excuse me, for the recordings of the partitas. We will make analog recordings. So here we're entering the organ room and the first thing you see is the 16 foot. See if things can brighten up a little bit. So there's the huge organ pipes which have about 2 meter 50 at the length, length no, it, some, some, not really 2 meter 50 but about. So that's the complete 16 foot. The action of the pedal is coming here. So that's really what it's all about. And then you have the blower which is not in a very good condition and normally you should have a kind of silence box around it. But it was never the case here. There you have the bellows and you have the action of the uh, whole organ. Let's see if I can move this light a little bit so you can see it completely. So the rollerboard, stop action, key action and so on. And if you go upstairs you see the organ pipes. I will take you there in a moment. Okay, so before we switch on the organ, and really I don't know what it will do, but I think it will work fine. I'll take you upstairs, I reposition the light and we see each other in a few seconds back. So here we're back in the organ. As you see the pipes of the great organ. At front are the principal eight stop and then the stop four flute at the back. So here you see them. You can take a wooden pipe for you to show from a clean. So it's actually very beautiful. It's of course typically in late 19th century, but uh, see if it okay. It's not so important. It's a lot of dust since I, of course, am not coming here every week. I've opened here. Here's a curtain of a kind of. It's not a curtain, but you know what I mean. It's just because it's the temperature drops here a little bit in winter time, so it gives a kind of air stream to the living room. It's over there. So I've opened here. A piece and you see through the front facade pipes. If you take a careful look, you will see the clever cord. It's over there. And that's my desk over there. So it's completely unfinished here, the house. It's like it was in the beginning. So if I turn around, you'll see the organ pipes, the pipes of the Rissi, the second manual. That's the uh, obwa, that's the clarinet, no, what's it called in English, I don't know. It has a typical name, it's, I call it as the obwa, it's a obwa stop. So, all original pipes. The base was originally not provided, as typically was uh, with many organs the case, but uh, we've added that with um, pipes made by Peter Conacher, which is the son of James Conacher, all these names written here at the back, 1915, 1955, so maintenance. 
And what should be here in front of this, you see that all this second manual is built in a box and there is some piece missing. That is really the, the closing part, which is a swell box. Swell box is operated through that mechanism by a pedal near uh, the organist. Originally it was made open and close only like in early French and English romantic organs but this system was changed so that you can open it gradually. So that are the organ pipes. It's very narrow. It's not easy to do maintenance here but it's possible. You see the pallet box underneath. It's black of course. It's dark. And we're standing actually here on this foot part just on top of the action that we just have seen. So again some close-ups from the organ pipes. If you never have seen an organ before from the inside this is of course if the camera wants to focus is very special. The reed stop if I open the stop you see there's a very special kind of uh, organ pipe. You have two kinds of organ pipes. You have fluid pipes, some of them which, are, which are the most common, like this one. You see, and you have reed stops. So, it's working. But as I said, I've, I'm not playing much uh, anymore on this organ, so it's uh, out of use and it takes up a lot of space and it might serve uh, another musician of a church better than it does me. Okay, what I will do now is just switch on the organ for, and I will ask Anya if, the, if she can do that. And I will stay in the organ and we'll see how uh, the bellows go up and we try to make some sound. Okay, see you in a second. Okay, we're back down here at the action and the bellows and I'll ask just Anya to turn on the organ now. So that will give a lot of noise. We might lose it. You might lose my voice. We will see, and we will, you will see how the bellows go up. Okay, there she goes. I hope it doesn't blow me away. There it goes. That's okay. Okay, I hope you can hear me still. If I would open a stop, I can do it from this side. That's just like that. Or I can just pull it here because that's the same thing. And I do it like this. So I can add another stop. Just from within the organ. And so, so can, you can operate also the, the sliders of the great organ. And that's actually very simple, it's how it functions. And if you go back to the front of the organ, it's of course designed that you operate, obviously, the organ from the front side. And you can just pull a stop and play. That's actually it, how it works. So I hope you enjoyed this sh short video on this uh, on my organ and don't hesitate to ask questions and I will not be able to give you a complete education on organ building online but anyway you know what I mean. And don't forget to subscribe to these videos and as I said before but it will happen eventually the YouTube uh, schedule will be uh, adapted to a new uh, schedule. The recordings will not remain on the same dates but remain in the same uh, quantity so to say. I will have three recordings every month but more on that in future videos just to mention that to you if you might skip that information in the future. Okay, thank you for watching and see you next time again. Bye.